New backup and archive solution will land on Microsoft 365. These are the really new functionalities that Microsoft announced during last Microsoft Inspire conference. Get to know more what are the possibilities that you will have soon in the Microsoft 365. First of all, we have to understand that today Microsoft does not provide any kind of archiving solution except Exchange Online. You have there the functionality to archive your emails and some kind of archive storage is included in some Exchange licenses. At the same time, if you are using OneDrive or SharePoint, there are no archiving solutions. So every data you will upload to Microsoft 365 into SharePoint Teams, which have SharePoint in the background, and OneDrive will be stored in the native storage of the Microsoft 365. There is the implication behind it because in theoretically, storage in the Microsoft 365 is unlimited, but at the same time, when you're buying licenses, your native storage size is limited. In this video, I will let you know more what are the new capabilities that Microsoft will offer in the area of the backup and archive, what are the challenges around storage of the SharePoint Online, costs behind it, and what are we really looking when we're talking about the backup of the Microsoft 365 solutions. And as always, if you like this video, please leave the thumbs up if you want to support this channel, please subscribe. And one more thing, this video is provided to you thanks to collaboration with AFI AI backup provider. So let's give few seconds for the partner of this channel and the blog. And before we will move forward, I want to share with you that this video is brought to you thanks to the AFI AI backup vendor that is proud partner of my blog office365adwork.com and supports this series of the videos that will help to share the knowledge about the backup process of the data in the Microsoft 365 that works for enterprise. In this video, I will also use AFI AI solution as an example to show what kind of functionalities we are looking for when we're talking about Microsoft 365 backup. This is a really solid product on the market in the area of the backup solutions for the Microsoft 365 applications. So when we will think about the future of the Microsoft 365 backup, I will use it as an example. During Microsoft Ignite, Microsoft present that archiving will be added as a part of the Microsoft SharePoint. In the admin center of the SharePoint Online, you will have the capabilities to set up the archiving solution. Reasons behind that are very simple. Usage of the storage is growing. More and more users using more and more storage, uploading more and more files and having free space in the area of the SharePoint Online is the more and more commonly faced problem with the bigger organizations. One of the solutions to reduce that challenge is create the policies that will archive the old data, not delete that from your environment, but move it to the cold storage that will be available as a part of the Microsoft 365 environment, but at the same time, will be cheaper and you will not have to buy additional storage to do that. That kind of policies will be possible to apply to the data, but also to the SharePoint sites. So you will have the capability to bring your data, bring your SharePoint sites and move them to archive. This will be automated based on the policies, based on the Microsoft Syntax solutions that will allow you to categorize that data and move it to archive to the cheaper cold storage. You can ask cold storage, what happening here? I have no idea that Microsoft 365 have something called cold storage. And 
Microsoft announced some time ago that Microsoft Syntax will introduce repository services, additional layer of the data that can be used by third party applications, but also is used by Microsoft Loop. So Loop components are saved there, not in the native storage of the SharePoint Online. And idea behind it is to create something that will provide all security, all collaboration features exactly like Microsoft 365, but will be cheaper alternative. Cold storage that will be integrated heavily into the Microsoft 365. So from the user perspective, there will be no that much difference in the user interface to access the data, but at the same time, performance will be slower. We don't have yet details how exactly this will work, but this is the concept that you should be starting to be familiar with. In the description of the video, you will find the links with references to the details about Microsoft Syntax repository services, but sooner or later, this will be heavily used part on the Microsoft 365. And another question could be why companies start to think to have additional storage. So you need to remember when you're using Microsoft 365, you get one terabyte of the data for the SharePoint storage plus 10 gigabyte per licensed user. It means that if you have 2000 users with 10 gigabytes of data plus one terabyte of the data, this is the number of the gigabytes you have to allocate in your SharePoint Online. It's around 20 terabytes of the data. On the one hand, it's a lot, but at the same time, it's not huge amount of the data. Many shared drives that you want to have idea to migrate to the cloud could have dozens of terabytes of the data. Many customers I have talking in the last months have hundreds of terabytes of the data in the Microsoft 365. It means that sooner or later, if you're heavily using Microsoft 365, you can get to the limit of your free storage that is included in your licenses. So what happens then? then you need to buy additional license. In the marketplace, in your Microsoft 365 admin center, if you will select any of your licenses, you will be able to find add-ons to this license. One of add-ons that you can find is Office 365 Extra File Storage. It costs 20 cents per gigabyte per month. The number here is not that big, but what will be the cost if we're talking about 20 terabytes of the data? It's additional $4,000 per month, almost $50,000 yearly. It's a lot of money. That's why companies starting to ask about cheaper alternative to have the data in one place with the all compliance and security settings in place, rather to move that data outside of the Office 365 to cold storage in Azure or any other service. If you heavily using Microsoft 365, review what is the storage you are using, what is the storage you have included in your price, because Microsoft 365 archiving service could be something that will be interesting for you. Moreover, start to learn about Microsoft Syntax repository services because sooner or later you will use it. Another service that Microsoft announced as a part of Microsoft Ignite is a backup solution which will be included again to the admin center in the Microsoft 365. You will have capabilities to backup OneDrive, Exchange and SharePoint based on the policies that you will implement there. You will have the, also the capability to backup the whole tenant. And again, more and more organizations looking to have something like that, to have additional copy of the data that can be restored in case that business users will come up with the request to restore it because the data will be encrypted, because the data will be lost. Again, sometimes legal requirements will force organization to also have dedicated backup 
that can be used in any purpose for the audit solutions or just because of some legal policies. So finally, Microsoft will provide you the possibility to do the backup very quickly of your tenant using internal solutions. We don't have yet any details about the functionalities, about the pricing, about the way how this solution will work, but in general, we have high level overview. So first of all, this will be backup provided through Microsoft 365 admin center on the very large scale using policies. Very good solution to let's say backup the whole platform in the very high level. But again, we don't have yet details. You can also expect that probably a little different storage will be used to store that data than traditional Microsoft 365 storage of SharePoint, OneDrive or anywhere else. Probably that data will land somewhere in the Azure services. Both elements are very important, are very useful and many organizations will look for them. And the feedback I can share about them in case of archiving, this is the functionality that big organizations need today. Many of the companies I have pleasure to talk in the last months facing the challenges with the almost full storage of the SharePoint Online. They buying additional storage to be productive and they do not want to lose the data they already have there. Having the possibility to move that data without losing compliance, security and the collaboration functionalities to slower, cheaper, colder storage is really great functionality, which they are looking for. In case of the Microsoft 365 backup, Microsoft will also need to think not only about just the process itself, but also other business functionalities that companies looking for today. First of all, other vendors like I will use AFI AI as an example offers the possibility to move the backup data outside of the region that you're working on. Sometimes it is business requirement if you're working in the Europe to have that data in United States or if you're working in the United States to move that data in the United Kingdom. It could sound as a very basic functionality but many times it is crucial business requirement. Another element that I'm looking for to have in such a solution is the possibility to have self-service for the end users, to have the possibility to recover your data without sending the ticket to IT support team. In the AFI AI, you have such a possibility. Many backup vendor providers also gives you the possibility to restore your data, to restore your emails, calendar, or OneDrive, but still to have that possibility as some kind of self-service. Today, it looks that this element is missing. Hopefully, Microsoft will chase up to also deliver something like that. And the last element I would like to highlight and AFI AI is a really good example, the pricing for the service. In general, AFI costs $3 per user per month with unlimited storage behind it. In general, I can share that market value of the backup solution provided for the Microsoft 365 is exactly on this level. Sometimes it's a little lower, sometimes it's a little higher, but in general, the price is $3 per user per month. We do not know how the pricing for the Microsoft 365 backup provided by Microsoft will look like, but this is also important to fit into, let's say, market standard. And to be very fair, I do not want to convince you to get rid of any idea of the backup provided by Microsoft, but at the same time, feel free to, let's say, be confident about decision you will make. If the functionality that will be there will be enough for you, probably this will be the simplest solution for your organization. If you will expect a little more or different configuration or additional functionalities, check AFI AI. It provides you the solution that will help you also to backup your data. Check other vendors on the market that provide very similar functionalities in the very similar pricing. Sometimes your organization could expect 
to back up the data outside of the cloud vendor that you are using. But again, be aware of the possibilities that you have. Choose the right one for you. And you can see a lot of things changing in the area of the Microsoft 365. I know that AI and Copilot is super exciting element, but having totally new storage type in the Microsoft 365, archiving functionality, backup functionality, this will be also the elements that will be the game changers for the every IT organization that's supporting huge Microsoft 365 environment. I did not talk much about Microsoft syntax, but this will be also the element that will help you to build the archiving, not based only on the simple policies like archive all the data that is older than five years, but also using machine learning. Again, <laughs> super exciting times ahead of us. Check Microsoft syntax, Repository services, this is something that is really worth to follow. Follow also my blog. I will be try to be in touch with these elements because I also see them as a super exciting. And moreover, if you are a big organization, consider iCarving and backup solution that will fit to your organization. Thank you very much for watching and see you in the next video.